What's going on guys? Gamma Art back again with episode 8 of a Fire Emblem Three Houses Let's Play. Let's see, last episode we finished the mock battle and got to see some of the um, end cinematics of that. Uh, we have a new assignment. There are some brigand brigands that we need to take care of at the end of the month. Um, and right now we're just kind of exploring the monastery. So I'm in a new part of the monastery. Um, I did mention that I would try and recruit some people off screen. Not successful. Uh, you can keep trying if you want, but I'm I'm kind of getting burnt out of getting uh, um, what, what's the word? Um, sh shut down. <laughs> um, we're in a new part. This is the chapel area. Um, there's not much left to do on uh, exploring. So, um, what I might do in future episodes is when it's an exploration day i may just take the time and go do all the hidden items off screen um oh and connelly's back do all the off screens ugh. do all of the hidden items and whatnot off screen and save some of the um objectives and tasks um for on screen um so this is mercedes um i do want to recruit her i think she's gonna shut us down yeah, she declines. So this is what happens, right? So they tell you, like, you have to have the following things in order for this person. So my magic, which Violet has to become a magic person to get the magic stat to go up. I have to be really good at magic and the bow skill. So not only my stats, but my skills as a professor in bow have to be really good in order for Mercedes to even consider joining my house. Um, or I can just give her gifts and presents and things like that. Um which might sway her to kind of ignore that I suck in those two areas. Um, but anyway, yeah, once you ask them once, you can't see, I can't click recruit again, so it's a one-time deal when you're exploring. So let us go ahead and kick off some of the um, missions. It is the duty of every Fodlan noble to demonstrate piety. Have you also come to offer your prayers to the goddess, Professor? Sure. You don't sound terribly sure. Oh, I... I think I'm still used to Golden Deers. I was like, Lorenz is on my team. It would seem that your reputation is on the rise. Even Lady <laughs> Rhea has taken a liking to you. It's a shame I am not in your class. But I... All right, yeah, I'm not too interested in Lorenz, but if he wants to join, then sure. Okay, Inside so here's the mission. Cathedral, there is a chapel dedicated to the four saints. Do you know of them? Saint Indec, Saint Macuel, Saint Keyhole, and... Saint Keyhole? Does not look how it's pronounced. Saint Kathleen, who is your favorite professor? Now that you are a member of the church, be sure to familiarize yourself with our teachings and traditions. Okay. I have something uh. to ask of you. So we have a quest. Um, there's a few other quests. Let me make sure I did do some exploring um, off screen. So let me make sure I didn't. I didn't go everywhere, but. You certainly can. Oh, and here's another one. Uh, choir coordinator. I have a favor to ask. So I believe this is um, sign up some students for um, for choir, and and you know some students want to sing, some of them don't. Um, it's really really up to the character, and it doesn't seem to change. Okay, so I'm just gonna head in the direction of um, where the objectives are at um, and try to get these knocked out quickly because it is fun to explore um, but I want to get to some of the other things that we have to do this month Bridget, Elmira, that we device. couldn't do uh, in the last videos okay so that's pretty much all we had to do for Seth's quest um, but since I'm already in this direction, let me go ahead and take on the um, next one. Oh, do I have things in the amiibo gazebo? This isn't the direction. Uh, no, because I, I think I already claimed them off screen. Or maybe on camera. I can't remember. Um, oh, I spotted him. Gotta find out everyone's likes and dis. How about you, Professor? Do you like sweet or spicy food? Uh, I say sweet. Ooh, same. Hey. I'll definitely remember that. Can I recruit you? <laughs> nope, she doesn't want to join. She wants magic and faith. Okay. Um, is there anyone in the dining hall? I can. Ooh, I can talk to Petra. Petra is already in my class. Much more warmth than 
Even spring here has coolness. And you, Professor? Which do you find is worst? Too hot or too cold weather? I have agreeance. In Bridget, I am able to be wearing much lighter clothes. Okay. Well, uh... Oh, Lysithia. So, if you are playing Blue Lions and you want a uh, magic user, Lysithia. Lysithia is really good. Um, definitely not a frontline person, but you should definitely consider recruiting her. Since if you're in the Black Eagles, though, you have enough magic users and... Maybe it's not really worth your time, way but... too many vegetables in today's meal. Oh, I pre Well, everyone knows a plateful of sweets is far preferred. Yes, I'm actually very busy right now. Okay, I had a feeling she wasn't going to join. I think she's one of the tougher ones to try and recruit. Um... Oh, I think it's... Oh, hidden item. I think it's Connolly's fur. That's really getting to me. Um, uh, so this is the lunch, this is the, uh... Would you kindly do something for me? So, we need to collect recipes in the library. Okay, we have to go back that way anyway. So my professor level is E+, plus, so we can only do two items. I'm gonna save those for the end, because you definitely... Well, you definitely want to save them for the end. I don't think I came here off-screen. Nope. Um, so we still need to do our gardening. Definitely don't forget about that. Um, you need to check up on how the, uh, on how your vegetables and whatnot are doing. Definitely gotta do that. And, uh, possibly fishing. Hello. Have we met? No. Sorry. You remind me of someone I know. So Shamir, I think, becomes a recruitable character later in the game. As for now, I think she's she's not a professor. She is um she's a knight of Saros. Um, but you can learn stuff from her. Uh, hello. Um, if you'll excuse me. Oh, professor, excuse me. No, I had a feeling she wasn't going to get recruited anyway. All right, so let's talk to the greenhouse keeper. Um, we need to harvest. Sweet. So let us plant some more. Um, how many things can I plant? Just one? Um, see, I don't really know what's what. I see there's five star stuff. Uh, why don't we plant some Angelica seeds? Yeah, we can only plant one thing, so why not? Let's make it the five star thing. Okay, planted it. Um, let's cultivate it. Let's pour some Aramid water on it. Okay, so we should have a better yield now. Um, so yeah, definitely don't forget to plant stuff because that's going to increase your professor level a little bit each time. And you definitely want that professor level to go up. And we're getting there. Fishing's another way to make it uh, go up, but um, now is not the time to really fish. I mean, we could do it. Um, let me see what we got. Oh, is there an event today? Um, what's the calendar say? Yeah, there's a fishing event. Lots of large fish. Well, this could be a bit RNG based. Uh, let's save. I really don't want to partake in fishing right now because it's not a... Yes, we might be able to catch a big fish, but... Alright, I'll try an insect larva and we'll just see where we get. Um, blue means it's common, red means it's big, so... Alright, I can I can miss out on three fish. I want to see if we get a red one. Alright, next one I have to hit hit it. Blue. Alright, well we got a small common fish. Um, now you can save and like reset. If you don't get the size fish you were wanting, um, you can definitely... Oh, I didn't mean to click it again. You can definitely come back and try this again. Why did I hit A? I panicked. I panicked and hit A. Um, because on these fishing days with the uh, fishing events, um, you definitely want to take advantage of that. Um, you have the chance to catch a really rare or big fish. Um, and don't miss out on that because it gives you a lot more experience. So I think, as I was saying, um, there are... Oh, I didn't know we had access to this. 
Yeah, let's definitely check this place out. Um, this is where you get all of your marketplace stuff at. Weapons. Um, I can I can do this through the menu system after, but um, this is normally where you would come to. Um, we can't hire battalions yet, so you just have the item shopkeeper and weapons. Um, but you will find hidden items like this. Um, so definitely check it out. And I think some of your students show up here as well. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, bluefish are common, redfish are kind of rare, and um, golden fish are, I don't know, really, really rare. They're really big, and uh, they definitely bring give you a bigger yield um, to the results. Like like the, not only the fish, but um, not only the fish, but the amount of I think professor experience you get. Um, and then there's even rarer than that. Hey, Eloise. Oh, professor, how are you today? I'm just heading out for a mission. I'll be seeing you. What makes you say that? Do you know something? Oh. Okay. That wasn't what he wanted to hear. I should have said the other option. Oh, and there's Hilda. Uh, I'm not too interested in recruiting Hilda, to be honest. Okay. Um, I think I've explored enough. I don't... I really don't want to waste that much time. Oh, we're back at the dining hall. Perfect. This is where I need to go. Sylvain will not be recruited right now. What's up, Professor? Hey. Yeah, he won't. Maybe it's because I was female, Byleth, that he uh, decided to join right away. I don't know. Or maybe it was that random, like, yeah, I'll join you. Oh, that's true. I need to go up to the second floor. Because um, we need to get the cooking notes from the library. So, yeah, there is a higher than golden uh, level kind of fish. Um, it's, it's like rainbowish, like whitish. Um, those are only available on specific fishing days, and I think there's only a small handful of them out of the year. So, when you see it pop up on the calendar, um, like a special fishing event day, definitely take the day to explore the, uh, monastery. Because if not, you're going to miss out on that. And that is the perfect day to go through your bait. Um, for now, don't really worry about it. Don't really worry about it. Um, I mean, you you might be wasting your bait. <laughs> Let's see. I think the library is this way. Really? The second floor is like a maze, man. <laughs> yep, this is the library. Okay, so we need to get some uh, cookbooks. Apparently, um, there's people to talk to. Oh, there's Linhart. Did I talk to Linhart? How do the poor? Yeah, I must have already talked to him off screen. Sorry, I I want to sit here and listen to everything they have to say, and I talk to Ignatz. Ignatz won't be recruited. Um, but I want to I wanna move on to the next thing. Okay, so we need to report to the head chef. You know what? I'm just going to fast forward. Let's go to the dining hall. So if you have been to a place in the monastery, you can just click R on your Joy-Con, and you can uh, I'll bring up the map, and then you can just fast travel. You're a lifesaver. All right. All right. Oh, so cooking together. You can choose someone to cook together, and that'll increase how much they like you. Um, and then, of course, the red means don't even bother. Um, I don't want to do anything yet, because we have one more mission to turn into. Um, learn more about students who like to sing. All right, well, let's, let's fast travel and go turn this in. Um, I'm trying to think who... Who that is? Hey. Hey. <laughs> well done. You have my right. Okay. Learn more about students who like to sing. So it doesn't pop up on uh, the thing. Choir practice. Who wants to sing? Hmm. Do I have to actually talk to every student? Because that's going to be annoying. Um, let's go here. Maybe there'll be someone. I think I do have to actually find out. Okay. 
Um, oh, there's someone on the side of me. Oh, he's definitely not gonna sing. Um, there was there was people here, right? Yeah, it definitely pointed out that some people were Hello. here. Um, Hilda, I don't think wants to sing. I'm... Nope. Uh, Manuela will sing if you like. She wants to sing if you'll ask her to. You know, like the other. Do you you know who? Yeah. Well, someone's got to. Um, let me see. Oh, oh, look at that. Uh, bubbles. So it does tell you who you have and haven't talked to. Let me go try talking to them. Um, oh, That's hidden item. So. Look at that. So let's talk to Dorothea. I think she definitely wants to, uh, sing. Oh, I was just looking for my... Well, it's... It's like a pair... Uh, um, okay. Oh, was I not supposed to help you out? Oh, I was just looking... What are you looking for? Just looking for my Pale blue claw. When you're in my class, why wouldn't I help what you? What is it? I'm not doing anything. <sighs> I'm not bothering you. All right. Well, so much for that. Like, 0 for 2, man. <laughs> Whatever. They're both in my house, so there are plenty of opportunities to, um, to raise my relationship with them. Um, Leone doesn't want to sing. Sorry, I'm just... Oh, I can try and recruit Leone. I hope we get a chance to practice together. I know I'm in a different class, but you're the only other... Not interested, but she wants to train with me. Okay, um, who didn't I talk to? Claude wants to sing, right? like you... No. Oh! Report to the choir coordinator. Okay. I don't remember seeing it um, pop up with that. That it was done. But okay. Oh, I didn't talk to Casper over there. Well, we need to talk to Casper. And I didn't talk to Jaritza. I'm... I'm not too worried about Jaritza, to be honest. Um, let's talk to Casper real quick, because apparently we hey there, did. Professor. You here to check in on my... Oh, that reminds me. I found this small claw. It's kind of weird. Not really sure what it is, but it works great for wiping up sweat. Alright, that was it. <laughs> I was expecting something else, but okay. So let's fast travel. Okay, so... We supposedly know who wants My to sing. Savior, thank you. Okay. Um, so, alright. So, it does raise up their enthusiasm up there. Um, so, who wants to sing? So Ferdinand wants to sing. Um, but he already has some motivation. So, it looks like only two people out of my class actually want to sing. Um, of course, all the... Hilda wants to sing? Okay. Um, and then here are the people who don't at the bottom, of course. Of course they don't. Um, I'm not going to do the singing. Um, that does raise your faith magic if you want to um, do that. Um, but I'm thinking... I've got a plan. So I have... I don't think I can take lessons from anybody just yet. So it's pretty much singing or cooking right now. Inside the um, same team. Sing now that you Kumseteth is one of the people you can get uh, professor training from, but it doesn't look like he's offering it right now. So um, let's go ahead and go to the dining hall because I don't feel like raising faith magic at the moment. And it's really dependent on who wants to even sing. I think it's it's easier to try and do um, head chef stuff. So let me take a look at the goals here. Um, just because it shows me who's enthu enthused. Everyone is pretty much enthused. Um, they're either halfway or they're full. So, why don't we go ahead and see what we can do with Head Chef. Actually, I'm going to try this. Um, what are you at? So, it's pretty much Bernadetta who wants to cook. Um, but I could try and raise uh, Mercedes uh, um, liking me, who might join. I do want to try recruiting Mercedes and, um, and what's his name, um, Sylvain. Um, Bernadetta's at halfway, so this would be perfect. Um, I can try cooking with her. Ooh, we need to change up these skills, the goals. I just realized I never did set these. We'll set them in a bit. Um, let's go ahead and do Head Chef. 
Yeah, let's let's uh, cook with Bernadetta. Um, what can we cook? Oh, plus HP, uh, plus three for the rest of the month. I like that. We can do luck. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't care. Dusker Bear. I don't care. Let's do King of the Beast Steak. Sounds fun. Let me show you my cooking talent. A little more secret spice, and hey, no peeking. I mean, it's good that Bernadetta is getting out of her shell, you know. All right, all allies received. Okay, any bonuses? Yeah. Ooh, she really enjoyed cooking. Okay. Um, why don't we go ahead and do, um, what's today's specials? Um, these two are already enthused. Wow, they really like today's special. What's, what's the plus up? Well, I already did lunch with Edelgard. Um, I can do lunch with, uh, Linhart and raise him up. I kind of want to get these two, um, let me go down the list to make sure I'm not missing anybody. You can't recruit to do. I want Sylvain and Mercedes um, to be recruited. I don't need Raphael. Um, don't need Marianne. Those are two good picks. Don't need Leone. She's good as well. I think you automatically get Flane and Manuela later on. Um, Ferdinand and Bernadetta. I don't know what the, the plus the up arrow means. Can't recruit those two. Um, don't want Ingrid. Don't want Seta. And then everyone else hates this. Um, don't want Felix. Don't need Lysithia. So yeah, I'm just focused on two people. So why don't we do that? We can raise Linhart because he's going to really enjoy this apparently. And why don't we try and recruit... Um, yeah, why don't we try and recruit Mercedes? This is my favorite... I am rather happy you went out of your way to pick it, Professor. This is my absolute favorite. How did you know, Professor? Okay. So Lenhart's fully motivated. Mercedes, I guess, likes me a little bit more. Man, keep getting that Professor experience. Okay. So, that is the bell. Um, we are done. So let's press L. We will end today's uh, exploring session. So, number twelve. Have you Date. not been told what's expected from lectures here? Well, I can tell you how it works based on what I've heard from other professors. Okay, so I'm gonna pretty much explain this. Um, starting lecture, it's a good idea to determine everyone's academic goals. Students will want to prioritize studying things that will help them achieve their aim. Yes. So, a few minutes ago, I talked about their uh, goals, um, as you can see from that screen. That shows kind of what they are studying, and you need to adjust that based on what what you want them to be doing. Um, it's very important. Um, they're going to gain experience as the week goes on uh, towards those areas, um, but you need to pick from their strengths. Not to say you can't pick from their weaknesses, it just you may need to spend a lot more resources helping them in that area. It's um, probably instruct. easier to get good results if you instruct students based on their interests and specialties. Of course, that doesn't mean it's pointless to teach someone things unrelated to their personal goals as well. By looking beyond their preferences, some students may find they're interested in fields they've never previously considered. Okay, so yeah, the instruct, you need to... I mean, you don't have to manually instruct, you can do auto-instruct, but it's kind of like... Okay, by the way, like not only during the week are you going to go teach yourself this subject or go through the lessons, I'm going to personally instruct you one-on-one, -on -one and based on your professor level determines how many students can you personally, uh, can you instruct one-on-one. -on -one. And you need to be careful also because uh, when you instruct them, you're taking away from their enthusiasm. So they go from like really excited to learn to like they don't want to learn a thing, and once they get into that state... You need to boost them back up because, um, I mean, if you choose like a seminar day, they will not go to the seminar. Um, that's also what the, the rest option is, is um, it boosts everyone's enthusiasm back up a bit. 
Um, and as she was saying, there are areas where some students haven't even considered, but maybe they like a subject. If you can see in the picture right there, um, the faith magic is uh, uh, Dorothea's uh, strength, but it has those stars. It means that like this character may blossom in this subject if you spend the points in that area. Um, they would do really well. It's like a hidden talent kind of thing. Don't really understand it that more than that, but uh, yeah, it's kind of like hint, hint. This character is going to do really well in this subject Custom if you just push may them. Change based on their studies or the experience. When yep. that happens, perhaps you could help them decide what. Yeah. So from time to time, students will ask you, "Hey, I think I should be focusing on this to become this kind of class. What do you think?" And you can say yes or you can say no. It really doesn't hurt to say yes or no. Um, I set their goals manually, and when they come ask me yes or no, I usually tell them no because I want them to really focus on the subjects I gave them because um, they're really going to come in handy. And I get it. I think that was put in by Nintendo to kind of be like, hey, it looks like you have this magic person learning lance and swords and whatnot. Don't, don't you want them to learn more about magic? I mean, it all really depends on... You know your creativity what kind of uh group are you trying to make how motivated a student is will affect how well your tutoring goes to help cultivate their motivation i think it's a good idea to interact with your students as much as possible please try your best to motivate everyone so that they in turn will try hard with their assignments and activities yeah so i keep saying enthusiasm it's really motivation and that's that little meter so the more motivated they are, the more you can instruct them, and they may show up at seminars if it's a subject they like. At the Officers Academy, students are encouraged to engage in various activities in and around the monastery. If you instruct your students to work together as a team, it will help to deepen their bonds and produce better results. Yeah, so don't forget about the group tasks. You can assign two people to, to work on something together, um, and that'll strengthen their bond. And I think it's every Friday or Saturday they finish it up, and you get to kind of reap the rewards. You can get money, you can get items from what they're doing. The three that I've seen so far are Stable Duty, um, Weeding, and Skywatch. Um, Stable Duty will increase someone's riding ability. Weeding increases heavy armor uh, skill, and Skywatch increases the flying skill. You should try to pick people that are good in those areas, but you can also put someone who's not really good in it, and it kind of nudges them in that extra direction. So not only do they get, uh, you know, if you set, say, flying, for example, um, for someone's area that they should be going study and learn up on, not only will they get that boost from the week, but putting them in this group task for, say, the Skywatch will give them an extra nudge in flying. And these three, I believe, are like three that you can't normally increase outside of the classroom. They're, they're classroom-specific things that you can increase, meaning that I can't go into a battlefield and, you know, I can keep whacking someone with a sword that doesn't increase my writing skill you know these are things you kind of have to learn inside the classroom uh to make them better so these are just perfect ways to kind of and kind of nudge them in that direction have you heard about the certification exams they take place every month everyone here is working hard to become a certain type of soldier and those tests are how you can check to see how far we've come in order to pass the exam you need to train enough to become whatever class you're aiming for Take care to develop your students strategically so that they can pass their certification exams. Yep, so even Byla has to take certification exams. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll get into how you can look at that, but just know that you need to be training your students um, in a certain area. You need to like map out what are they doing, you know, as they're gaining levels and progressing. Um, and you can look at like sort of like what they can become like what you know what are your options what does it mean to become that i'll i'll go into it okay i'll so what i like to do is start up with the group task to make sure i'm not forgetting anyone now i have previously gone through and mapped um on on my phone i've taken some notes who do i want to become what um so let me take a look um So, I think I might just do um, the stable duty, because um, that increases riding. So, Ferdinand, I want to one day become like a paladin. So, I want him to get good in riding. And look at that, he already has a D. 
um, and it's one of his strengths. So I'm definitely going to put him doing this. Um, <laughs> Petra's not so good. I also want to nudge Lenhart out of his shell and get better at writing because I want to make him a Dark Knight. And that is like a mastery class that can wield um, magic and swords and rides on a horse. It takes a lot, you know. It takes a lot to be, become a Dark Knight. Um, so now I need to start him early, getting better at riding. So I'm going to give him that extra nudge. And see, based on who I'm putting on this, my expected result, two stars out of five. Um, and their support level, they have none. So this is a good way to kind of like put these two characters together, get them to work together, and increase their support level even further. So I've set my group task for the week. And it does carry over week by week. So you can set it once and then just ignore it. Um, or you can come back every week and see how your students are doing and seeing um, what, what you would prefer. But yeah, I need those two to get good at writing. Um, so I never click auto-instruct. Um, I do go into the goals, though. So here it is. You, this is telling you what they are focusing on. And let me press um, ZR because that will give you a map of what they're going to become. So let me go through Byleth, for example, right? So Byleth isn't even in the beginner classes. He is a commoner, but he can become a Mermitten, soldier, fighter, or monk um, if you take your certification exam. So Byleth, for me, has become a sword user, so I'm going to make him a Mermitten out of these four, um, and he needs to be at a D or higher with the sword. Um, in order to pass and he probably does have a D or higher so odds of passing 100% so I have that mapped out he is on the path for his next um, what he's gonna become next um, intermediate you need to start looking at what comes in, what are you gonna put them into after uh, beginner intermediate kind of expands you can do mercenary thief armor cavalier brigade uh, archer brawler mage dark mage and priest dark mage <laughs> um, dark mage is uh, male only I think um, but yeah, you, you can see for Mercenary, for example, I need a C or higher in Sword. Um, and he only has 65%, so he's probably at a D or D plus right now in Sword. So I need to get him on, I need to have him focus on Sword. Now, let's take a look at Advanced. You don't have the Mastery ones unlocked yet. I don't know when they become available. Um, probably way later in the game. It, it From what I've seen online, it takes a lot um, to become a Mastery uh, class. But anyway... Um, let's say, for example, I want Byleth to become a hero class, right? Um, this is in the advanced classes. He needs sword at B or higher and axe C or higher. So if I know I'm going to turn him into a hero, I need to get him started learning on an axe right now. Um, so like, for example, if I'm going to turn someone into a fortress knight, Heavy armor has to be a B or higher. I need to get them started learning on heavy armor right away. So this is what I mean. Start mapping out, like, where do you want your students to fall into in the future? Start mapping out their progress. Um, because, yes, say, for example, for now, if they're using an axe, let them let them fight with the axe. Let them get used to it. But you need to have them focused right now on heavy armor um, because it's going to come up sooner rather than later. They need to have that skill up higher if you want to make them a fortress knight. So start them off early. Start them, you know, pay attention to what's the next thing they need to be good at. Um, for example, in my Golden Deer playthrough, I want to turn um, um, Ignatz, who is just good with a bow and a little bit with a sword, I want to turn him into an assassin. Um, but he uses the bow mostly in my playthrough, and not so much the sword. So I let him use the bow on the battlefield and get better at bow that way to increase it. But the sword, I have him focusing heavily into the sword. Um, even though he's not even using it on the battlefield, because I think I have them as an archer class, which only uses the bow. So you need to map out what do you need them to learn next. And that's very important to pay attention to. Um, so don't don't let your students fail. And this you can go through and see all the little images and see what they can become. I think I think Edelgard has, yeah. So your house leaders have a specific um, um, intermediate class that they can become, which is the Lord. You need authority, C or higher, and sword, D plus or higher. What I find funny is none of them start off good with the sword. And to become a lord class, you have to have D plus or higher in sword. That, that is very interesting to me. I think the lord has to use uh, sword too. Um, so that, that just... Ugh. 
Okay, so that that is like you know paying attention to what it is you want them to focus in. Uh, let me go ahead and set what I want them to. So, Edelgard, um, Axe, and Authority. Um, that's fine. I want her to get good with the Axe a bit. Is that a D? Um, I want to turn her into a Wyvern Lord. So I need to get her started in flying. Um, as much as I want her to learn Authority, um, I think that will come. I can probably instruct her one-on-one uh, on Authority. But I need her to get going with flying right now because I want her to become a Wyvern Rider and Wyvern Lord. That's what I have mapped out for her. Um, so that set a focus for her. So I want her to focus on that. Hubert. Um, I don't think I need him to do... What do I have Hubert down as? I want him as a Dark Bishop, um, which I think is mainly Reason Magic and uh, some Faith Magic. So I'll have him focus on both. Oh, he's not so good at faith. Ooh, interesting. I want him to focus on faith because it's it never hurts to have someone who can at least cast heal. Um, so I want him to focus on that. Why not? Um, that that'll be good for him. So that's a custom focus I have him on. Ferdinand. Uh, he has lance and axe for some reason. What do I want Ferdinand to be? Ooh. So he can focus on lance. Um, I need to get his writing up. No, I need to start him on heavy armor because I actually want to turn Ferdinand into a great knight at some point. Um, so I'm going to get him going on heavy armor. Ooh, and he's got three stars next to it. So he may actually like heavy armor and excel at it. Linhart, Linhart, I don't want you to be my healer, man. I want you to get good with reason magic. And actually, I might keep you at that. Um, actually, no. I need to get him good at writing. Yeah, he needs to focus on writing. So this is a good little custom focus for him. Um, Kaspar. Yeah, Axe and Brawling. Keep keep it going. <laughs> That's all I need Kaspar to uh, be focusing on. Um, Bernadetta. Bernadetta, what to do with you? I need you to get good with the bow um, and writing. Because I think I want to turn her into a bow knight is what I had her mapped out as. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, bow knight. Um, I'm going to have her go down the archer... Snipe. Ooh, in writing, she's going to excel at that. That's awesome. Um, Dorothea, I want you as my healer, girl. Like, what are you doing with reason magic? Yeah, you can focus on it, but, um, yeah, I might, I think I want her to be a Grimmery. Yeah, Grimmery. So she can just focus on both reason and faith magic. No, no swords. No, I don't need you doing swords. What's your stats? Strength is five, magic 11. Yeah, you're focusing on magic, girl. Petra. Petra, what to do with you? I think I have her... Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with her. I mean, sword, obviously. Actually, I might just keep sword and axe. Because um, I might turn her into a sword master or a hero, which aren't mastery level classes. See, here's the thing. You don't... I don't know if you necessarily have to go into the mastery classes. I find some of the advanced classes, like, that's it. I'm good. Like, I don't need to go into mastery. I am satisfied with what the advanced classes can provide me with. Um, so yeah, let's let her focus in Sword and Axe. I'm just curious, what does she have hidden talents in? Nothing. No hidden talents. But she's good with Sword, Axe, Bow, and Flying. Hmm. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep her going the hero route for now. Um, even though she's only going to be using swords for a while. Okay, so uh, now I've set everyone's focus. This is what... Whoa, almost dropped my Joy-Con. This is what everyone is going to be focusing on during the weeks. Um, they may come to me and ask, I want to change it, because I think, I think I should be focusing on that. So now that I'm ready, now that I'm done with that, I can start... Um, I usually go into Instruct next. Now my professor level, I can only instruct three students, as indicated in the top uh, at the middle. Um, try to pick people that have the, this little green face. They're just so excited um, to learn. So let me do Dorothea and Linhart at the very least. I want to nudge them in the right direction. So here's the thing. Here's where your professor level and your skills come in handy. Um, I am really good with sword, hand combat, and authority for some reason. Um, that's just what they start you off with. Um, so notice the little... Uh, 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 like the little... Professor Expertise hand there. Um, that means that you will get some bonuses if you instruct students in things that you excel at. Um, so if you want to be able to be better at instructing them in this area, in a certain area, you need to build up your professor level 
because um, you can only be as effective as your as your um, you know, as you are in that skill. Um, so let's go ahead and do. I want to boost her in reason magic, even though it's it's not her thing, but it looks like she might actually excel in it. So let's spend some points. So sometimes they do really well and you have the option to praise them, which boosts their motivation again. So let's let's keep dumping into this. Because um, I want her to be the healer. Alright, so now she has one star in it. So she's getting better. She's like, oh, maybe I am actually good in this. Good. All right. So, so Dorothy is tapped out. Notice the blank stare face. She's done. Um, she's just like, oh, I'm so burnt out. All right, Linhart. I want to push Linhart in um, a certain direction. So he is not good with axes. Um, I wanna, I wanna nudge him with that. But I need to nudge him with um, reason magic. Um, so let's start nudging him in that direction. It is a lot. And I know this isn't a lot of points, but it's kind of like you know. Based on your expertise, you're kind of nudging them in a direction. So it's really up to you how you want to spend these. Consider them extra points. Um, how do you want to nudge them in a certain direction? And I want I want to nudge him in this direction. Okay, so Linhart's tapped out. And I might do um, Edelgard next. Um, just because. Um... So she would actually be good at magic as a hidden talent. Um, I took away uh, authority. Authority comes in handy if you want to sign. Um, oh, what's the word? Battalions to a person. Um, then you want their authority to be greater. Um, I'm also really good at swords. I kind of want to see what that lord class is all about. But I don't want to waste these points. So I'm going to just do authority and just raise that. Or I can do flying raise that but I'm improving it's a little RNG based um, how many Not points they'll exactly. get is it okay. okay and we'll do one more I still have all right so I'm done I can't one-on-one -on -one instruct anybody so I'm done so you've gone through all this stuff. Now you can begin the lecture. And I have a question for you, Professor. I was gonna say the week begins. All right. When I take a lecture, I'm not interested. I get so sleepy. I just can't fight it. I should just give up, don't you think? Close my eyes and enjoy a peaceful slumber. No need to fight it. You can't help it. Try getting plenty of sleep before the lecture. I want to say this middle one, but I feel like it could be the third one. I see. Thank you very much. Oh. Raises motivation a little bit. Okay. And my professor level went up. Dang. So there are several things that could occur during the week that'll just raise their motivation again. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, Let's make this quick. I'm oh, tired. so here's here's the weekly task. Indeed. I will do my part. Amazing, no? Alright, so we got a thousand gold, the support between the two increased, and we received some smithing stones that comes in handy once you unlock the blacksmith, which is going to take a little while. Alright, here we go, weekly progress. So you can see they're getting that boost. Um, it's starting to take shape. Sweet. So Linhart learned wind. I'm a quick study. And you learned, you're going to learn heal now. Sweet. So you can take a look at their progress, how they've done... Um, not bad. Not bad for a first week. So, A to close. And we come back to... It's Raphael's birthday. I'm so sorry, man. Okay, and we come back to Sunday where you can choose what to do. Um, but we are running into overtime in today's episode. So, I am going to end it right here. It looks like battle is our only option. So, next episode, we're going to be doing some battling. Um, not the month objective, some side battling to get some level ups. So we will do that next episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, though, please consider hitting the like button down below. And I will see you guys next time.